Hey guys, what's going on? Bregman17 here, and welcome to another video. Um, today we have another box that came in the mail, and I thought you guys might want to be here um, to open this one up for me. So let's take a look and see what's in there. Alright guys, welcome back to the desk here. Um, I know I haven't done an unboxing video here at the desk for quite a, some time, but uh, here we are. And we got a box today, um, <clears throat> all the way from New York. And uh, let's see what's in here. It's priority mailed to me, two-day shipping, which I'm a fan of. I don't necessarily need it, but I like having my stuff quick. Come on. There it is. Oh, this will be fun. Okay, as you can see, we have paper shreds here, so let me uh, find a box. Here, we'll use this one. We'll use this uh, Train World box I just recently acquired the other day. Whoop. Yep, see, we're already throwing paper shreds. See, we can go ahead and dump this whole thing out here. Because we got foam down in here. But my big thing is I just want to catch all these paper shreds. It's kind of a malicious way of packing this thing. Okay, we got some green foam, or green bubble wrap, sorry. And some more green bubble wrap. And that's the bottom of the box, so just kind of get this emptied out. And what is this? I don't know, just stuff. Just stuff, stuff, and more stuff here. Just trying to kind of empty this out. It gives me another box for if I'm shipping decoders or stuff like that. I, I try to keep as many boxes as I get and just relabel them. Keeps me from having to buy new boxes, so. Alrighty. So, taking a look here, we've got some green bubble wrap and I see some cars in here. I think I know what these are. If I'm right. Trying to cut up and away here from these cars. Oh yeah. Sweet. These are my new uh, California Zephyr cars. Awesome. I didn't think they'd come in this quick. Um, I guess that is two days from when I ordered them though. Um, got these from a guy online. I uh, got a really good deal on them. And the nice thing is they're all numbered or lettered for cars that I do not have, so I have no duplicates, but looks like we have, um, there's our three 10-6 sleepers, I think is what that is, the Silver Point, Silver Shore, and Silver Poplar, and then I see a dome car in here, because that's what this set needs more of, is dome cars, the five of them that are already included in the California Zephyr, but There we go. Okay, sweet. There's my silver coyote, which is a um, baggage car. I wanted a second baggage for the whole train at some point. Um, I just think it looks a little uh, a little goofy with just one baggage car out of eleven cars. But you know, for the the price and how many cars you get, I can kind of understand why Kato only did one baggage car in the set, just for the sake of getting more cars out. <clears throat> so. But there it is, guys. You can kind of see them there. Let me roll them back over here. But um, We have the Silver Shop, which is a DNRGW um, diner car, or lounge, uh, what is it? I think it's a buffet diner lounge or whatever it is. Um, the Silver Poplar, which is a sleeper. The Silver Shore, another sleeper. Silver Point, last sleeper. And then the Silver Coyote, um, those are all CB and Q, except for the Silver Poplar. That's a Western Pacific, but... Um, these are new cars that I picked up from a guy to expand my current California Zephyr. Um, with these cars, it puts me up to 16 total cars for the California Zephyr. So, um, I'd like to have all the cars, all the different um, names that they've made for these cars, <clears throat> um, meaning the different runs that had all the names. So, um, just to make one large California Zephyr out of. But who knows when that'll happen? But 
Either way, um, that's the five cars that I got. I'm going to put everything up here, and we'll take a look at the full train um, or everything that I've got. So give me one sec, guys. There you go, guys. There it is, the entire um, California Zephyr Consist, or at least my entire California Zephyr Consist. As of right now, we have uh, two Burlington E5 units, one with custom uh, strobe lights on top, and I know that's not accurate to prototype, but uh, I'm a big fan of the Burlington Northern E units with the um, double beacons for that they ran out of Chicago for Metro, so I decided to take a little uh, modeler's license to that, but we have uh, uh, all the cars that we have so far. I'm going to get down here to read them for you guys. We have the Silver Beaver, the Silver Coyote, the Silver Point, Silver Shore, Silver Mountain, Silver Shop, Silver Falls, uh, Silver Lodge, Silver Platter, Silver Mustang, the Silver Cliff, uh, Silver Thist Thistle, Silver Larch, Silver Lounge, the Silver Silver Poplar, and the Silver Crescent. That's the entire train. Or at least what I own. Uh, like I said, at some point I'd like to have um, all the cars with the different names on them. But who knows when we get around to that. But here's kind of a close-up of the whole thing. And this is pretty close to the consist in which I'll run. And everything runs left to right from the bottom to the top. So it'll be the first two units. Uh, the two baggage cars there. Followed by the two sleepers. Then moving back to the other end there. Uh, there will be another sleeper there, um, one of the la or the buffet cars, another sleeper, uh, dome car, followed by my custom diner car with uh, California Zephyr announcements provided by ESU Loke Sound version 4.0 micro decoder, um, another dome car, another sleeper, another dome car, another sleeper in the back, followed by the silver shop which is the other diner another sleeper, and then the tail. So um, I'm kind of a fan of spacing out my domes. Um, I'm not a big fan of putting them all together um, or putting them up at the front like they ran them in the California Zephyr. But, you know, th this isn't set in stone. I'll probably mix this up a bit and run it in different variations. But for now, this is how we'll run it. Um, i got to find a new box for the new five that I have here. It's going to be a, um, one heck of a time trying to get them up to the club. But Hopefully this weekend when I go up there I get some video of my new 16 car train running and um, now that we have the second E unit back in operating condition um, we'll have two units to pull it instead of just one. So, Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this unboxing and kind of uh, an overview of my entire fleet now. Uh, I'm really a fan of this train. I love the silver and uh, the I think the Burlington colors go great with it um, just because they're all silver also. So. Um, if you guys have any questions or any comments, uh, of course, feel free to leave them below. You know, uh, Share it around. Do whatever you like. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll talk to you later. Breakman17 out.